What is good, guys? Back with more SPL. We have TDK versus Cedomas here. Um, looking at the teams real quick, we got some bulky, nasty stall here on TDK's side. Looking like Chansey is going to give Cedomas a lot of trouble. There's a potential ban tower, obviously, but other than that, it's going to be hard for him to break Chansey. I assume that this is a double or triple Defog team, even from TDK's side, with Defog Zapdos, Defog Gliscor. And yeah, he has Wish Path to keep Heatran healthy with Alamomola. So it's going to be Wish Protect. Uh, Toxic and then either Scald or Knockoff, I assume. I can talk about Sidumas team a bit. Um, it's most likely Zemo for Corona, either Bantar or um, Megatar, one of the two. Spadef Mungus to help with the Greninja matchup. Uh, probably Ice Beam Mew with like Softbolt, Will O Wisp, and then Defog or Off Power. Um, yeah, he is a bit annoyed by Heatran, so it could definitely be still Off Power Mew. And the reason why it doesn't necessarily need Defog on the Mew, um, it doesn't need Defog on Mew is because he could have uh, Defog on Lando and Spin on Drill. One of the two or both. So Mew could uh, have an extra move slot. And yeah, Drill is either Life Orb or something like that. I'm not sure about that yet. Um, yeah, Drill if, might have SD and might be able to put in some work. But between Alamomola and Glisco, TDK is going to be able to deal with that, I think. Um, so we see Alamomola lead versus Amoongus lead. Now TDK is probably just gonna um, choose his sleep fodder, like the one that he thinks that it's not that important to have. And I think he definitely wants the Alamomola, so he's gonna switch here. I mean, he could go Chansey, but if he goes Chansey, then... And then switches out to get natural cure, and uh, Mungus can put something else to bed. So he does just go Zapdos. Yeah, I think this confirms that he has definitely double defog, which is pretty obvious at Team Prio. With a team like this, with a bulky build, you want to ensure that the hazards never go up. So he picks Zapdos as Sleep Fodder, which means he's not going to use it this game. He has to switch out here uh, because the Tita is quite obvious and he doesn't want to get pursued with his Zapdos. So if I'm TDK here, I would just go into Alamomola. Uh, Sidumas is never going to go for Giga Drain here if he stays in, so I think Alamomola is a fine play. Obviously, I don't know all his sets, so... Depending on the sets, there could also be um, another play that might be good for TDK here. But I think Alamomola is completely fine here. As the Tita should come out for sure. There, there's the Tita. As he goes in the heat here. Now, this is a potential Stone Age or off quick tar. So TDK, um, yeah, you should switch out here and do uh, Alamomola. Just to scout what Sidumas goes for. And yeah, we will now soon see if this is a Mega Tower or a Baron Tower. I'm gonna be honest, like, I don't know if Sidumas can win this game at all. We do see his Earthquake Tower, so now TDK is gonna switch out uh, into either Alamomola or Gliscor. We do see his Mega Tower and he goes for Pursuit, so that was well played by Sidumas. But now it's revealed that the TTR is not banded, which means it's not gonna be able to put in that much work. And uh, TDK has Protect to get leftovers back on training, has potential Wish Path. So yeah, TDK is just gonna Earthquake here. I'm a bit surprised he went Gliscor because there's a chance that this might have uh, like Ice Punch or Ice Beam. But Tidimas probably doesn't want to stay in here. He goes in the Mew, let's see, just off quakes. Hmm. So yeah, TDK has a few options here. He can either go into Alamomola or he could go into Chansey. I think he should definitely not go into Heatran because he doesn't know the Mew set yet. He should scout out the Mew set before he goes to Heatran. And like Alamomola is like super free. We already see that the Mew has leftovers, so the Mew will be a bulky Mew. It will not be able to like uh, threaten the Alamomola with anything. So you can just go into Alamomola and then click knockoff. He goes into Tran, which I don't like that play. He bricked Ice Beam, yes, um, which is fine. But he should definitely switch out now and scout for exactly there's the off power. I don't know why he did made that play. So it's Wisp Tran. Wisp Protect. Uh, makes a lot of sense. That I think I already talked about it. It helps with the banter matchup because you can protect and if they go for pursuit, you can just whisk them next turn. And then you can scout out and like make it easier and like prevent 50-50s, kinda like that. So he protects again. And now I would probably just go for Wolves here because if you protect on the rocks, that could be bad. Because uh, yeah, Sidimas might want to go for Roxy if he has that on his Mega Tar. So yeah, Tren is low, but I don't think it matters too much because Chansey beats Volcarona anyway. I assume it's going to be Toxic Chansey. Yeah, between Chansey, Alamomola, and Gliscor, I think those three months alone pretty much wall Sidimas' entire team. Um. Maybe if Drill gets up a SD and some flinches, that could put in some work. 
Also, yeah, they're talking about Heatran 8, that up, that off power. That uh, definitely has some sort of bulk investment. I think it's, yeah. Speed dev invested Tran. But uh, probably enough speed for um, Speedy Bantar as well, so you can will risk them before they hit you. So just get a wisp off there, predicting the, the rocks. And yeah, TDK could switch out here because I don't even know if... See, Dimas might not pursue it here. So he could go Ghost Glisco. I, I still think Alamola is the better play, just in case this has Ice Beam. But he obviously goes to this because he wants to defog the rocks away. Um, so yeah, I think he's just going to defog here. Maybe Sidumas doesn't have an Ice Move on this. Um, I mean, it, and even if he has an Ice Move, it, if it's Ice Punch, it wouldn't do anything because the T-Tar is burned. So Mew comes out. Um, yeah, you should go Aloe or Chansey here. I would still prefer Aloe from TDK because um, Aloe has... Like, can just knock off items on Sidumas side. Uh, so yeah, Chansey is just going to go for Seismic Toss here, I think. Get some nice chip on the drill. We do see it's a leftovers drill. Interesting, interesting. Um, so now we're going to see the Gliscor come out or the Alamomola come out. Can Sidumas even do anything about that? He doesn't really have a double or anything. I mean, he could FD up and then try to flinch, but I don't really see him breaking TDK's team at all. So this is Iron Head. You can see that does doesn't do that much at all so yeah, tdk is just gonna earthquake here obviously um staying in with this is completely fine and then when the executor switches out he gets some uh, poison hill recovery i assume sidomas is gonna go into either his mew or his amongus here probably the mew because it has ice beam and can threaten the glisco out but let's be honest sidomas <laughs> is not gonna win this game unless he gets some sort of hex with his drill if he has sd so yeah, I can just uh, softball up here with the Mew or Roost, same thing. And yeah, Chansey, this might have rocks, but rocks could also be on... Hmm. This should be Toxic, Softball, Seismic Toss in the last slot. Could be rocks, Heal Build, something like that. Yeah, I think we're just going to see a Seismic Toss that come out again. Mm -hmm. Get some nice chip off. And yeah, the Drill is going to come out again. Uh, not the Drill, the Gliss score is going to come out again. Or the Alamomola. Uh, there's a Iron Head again. TDK is gonna Earthquake again. He like he doesn't really lose any health. Iron is doing 35 and two rounds of poison heal. Pretty much almost, not completely, but almost heal all the damage that the drill did with the Iron Head. Um, I assume this obviously also has um, Defog this Gliss score. He does go for Roost there, which makes sense because he wants to keep this healthy, but it didn't matter too much. Um, now, what did he go for here? So it's Defog, Roost, Earthquake. The last move could be Knockoff, could be... It's Toxic. Okay, that's interesting. Um, yeah, that makes sense as well, obviously. I and mean, like, not only is the Stall team, he also has Protect on Heatran. So we have some synergy with the Toxic. I, I think Toxic Gliscor is for stuff like Tapu Bulu, because Bulu would usually switch in on Gliscor. But his team doesn't really have a problem with Bulu when he has um, Wisp Tran, which is probably potentially Speed Invested. And he has, uh, he's probably gonna knock off here the Mew, yep. And he has a uh, scissor to deal with the Bulu as well. So yeah, TDK can go for Scald here, or I can throw up a Wish. And like, like I don't think there's a point in like me trying to analyze this game super hard, because I just don't see how Sidemus can win the game. Unless his drill shows like SD and can get some flinches. Um, like... The Landris, expect, um, I don't expect it to be... I mean, expect the Landris to be Scarf, probably. Actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, I don't think the Landris is going to be like any Z-Move or anything like that. Z-Move is usually on Volk. Volk is like the one that abuses Z-Move the best. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what TDK does at all. <laughs> like, I think this was uh, decided at Team Preview. Like, I was just hoping that he had banter and they could put in some work, but he didn't even have that. And even if he had that, TDK had ways around had ways around it. We could see he had Protectron to scout and hit will wisp And Allo can also check Tar. So he sort up a wish. He can now pass that in the Heatran. Or he just knocks off. Yeah, that's fine, because Gigerwin is not going to do much at all. Yeah, you can see that there's absolutely nothing. So there's probably mixed defensive Alamola. And even if he was Fist Def, Gigerwin still wouldn't do enough. So yeah, you can scold or wish again here. Got no, he got rid of the black sludge. So yeah, we're making some sort of progress. I hope this game will not take forever. <laughs> Chansey comes out here. 
Chansey just gonna seismic toss again. I mean, it seems like this Chansey doesn't have rocks, or t even if, if it has rocks, um, he's not going for it because when C. Dumas goes for rocks, he won has to defog immediately anyway. Um, because with a fat team, you always want hazards off the field, and you want to be able to switch around as as much as you. Like you just want to be able to switch around freely without having to think about anything, worry about anything. I mean, the Tita doesn't even beat the Chansey. It's burned. It's gonna go for rocks here, so TDK is probably gonna go hard into the Gliscor just to defog the rocks away. Um, yeah, he's just gonna defog. Sidumas is gonna have to switch. It seems he doesn't have Ice Beam. He would have gone for it by now, I think. The Mew comes out to threaten the Glisco with an Ice Beam. TDK can go into either Chansey or Alamomola. I would personally prefer the Alamomola because if you go Chansey, you take Sandstorm. Um, there's the Excadrill. So now we'll see um, if he just Iron Hats again. He doesn't really make any progress. Like, if he doesn't have SD on Drill, there's like no way for him to like break TDK's team. If he has SD, then he can potentially put him work with a flinch. Um, there's Iron Head again, there's absolutely nothing. And yeah, TDK is just gonna Earthquake here. I don't think there's a point in Roosting because it's still quite healthy. And either Mew or Lando is gonna come out here. Almost back at full with the Poison Heal. And yeah, back into either Aloe or Chansey. I would still prefer the Aloe. The Aloe is, I think, already burned, was it? Like Adol is just super free on Mew, we can throw wishes in the wishes in the air, potentially pass them in the heat trend, just keep the team healthy. There's the Chansey again. I mean Chansey can technically just stay in here. You can either go back to thing to Glisco and Default or you can just um, stay in the soft boiled. Because uh, having Chansey healthy is still important because if Chansey gets low with heat trend also being low, uh, Volcarona can win the game for Sidumas, yes. But you wouldn't need a lot to happen to like win. Okay, so Glisco comes out again. He's just gonna default. Kind of repetitive here. Not really much of a point in uh, narrating this. So yeah, at the moment it's like it's like uh, almost 11 here, and obviously Sidima should go for Roost here. TDK should switch into either Allo or Chansey. Basically, what I was trying to say is there's more games tonight. There is a game at 3 a.m. my time. And yeah, I'm gonna stay up. I'm just not. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to live narrate that. I might have to narrate it the next day when I'm too tired. My man BTB is also playing tonight. I don't remember if it was at 2 a.m. my time or what time it was. It was also pretty late. Yeah, I'm gonna see that I can catch it live. So is timing out as well. He left his Mew super low. I mean, double in the Tita doesn't even do anything. You can now either go back, let's go, or softball up. Like, there's really not much to explain, it's pretty obvious. Um, I guess softball is the better play, because he's getting chipped by the sandstorm. And, I mean, he can just go for seismic toss here. Uh, Sidumas is gonna switch into what? Among Us? He just doesn't have a switch in, like... He kinda just loses Mono to, to Chansey. Like, what? So he sacks his Mew. Um, it's just a matter of time, he will have to forfeit soon, unless he can hex through. There's a drill again. Um, so yeah, Glisco is most likely gonna come out here. Uh, it's the poison heal. Immediately will get rid of um, the damage that Glisco takes from the stealth rocks. There's the SD. Okay, so now TDK is forced to Earthquake. And if Sidumas gets a flinch here, it could be dirty. He gets a crit as he gets a flinch. No flinch, so that was like Sidumas like only way of having a shot if he got the flinch there, but he didn't get it So he lost his drill the vault comes out TDK is forced hard into Chansey here and Then if he doesn't have if he doesn't have toxic that could be bad for um, for TDK Because then um, he could if he seismic tosses he could get burned from flame body, but I assume he has toxic because otherwise um, Like you want to make sure with a team like this that you're not weak to Volcarona So you should have definitely have toxic on your Chansey Equivalence is again, he's uh, setting up. Um, he's gonna try to do a lot of damage to the Chansey with his Z move, but it's not gonna be able to win. So he's just gonna soft pot spam here, I assume. Because, yeah, you don't want a seismic toss, because if you seismic toss, you risk getting flame body burned, which could be bad. So just spamming soft pot seems like the play to make for TDK. Eventually, Z move. Oh, wait, it's protect Chansey. He has the Z move. This is gonna do absolutely nothing. Oh, that was, that was super hard. That did 17, so it would have done around. 30-ish without the protect maybe or wait no no the protect does one fourth they would have done more they would have done more yeah to protect weakens it so it only does one fourth so they would have done maybe like half I'm not 100% sure how that works I think it would have done like 50 yeah but yeah just spamming softball here is the play worker one is eventually gonna die so he does have protect on trend and on chancy which uh, you guys can see TDK really thought about the Bantar matchup because then you can play around Bantar super easy because he can protect if he goes for Stone Edge. 
you already stole out the PP, Stone Edge only has 8 PP, and then you can go into Alamomola and you can protect again. I assume Alamomola has protect as well, so he has 3 protect ones. Uh, helps him with his banter, helps him if they go for pursuit, he can see it and just stay in with his chancy. So I, I like that a lot about his team, but yeah, his team is obviously nasty and grimy. I think CDMAS is uh, just gonna hit the X, he says GG. And yeah, I'm gonna pause it real quick, we're gonna look at the score. I mean, it's 3-0 now for the Raiders versus the... I, we don't have to look at it, I'm just gonna tell you guys. 3-0 for the Raiders versus the... The Runas. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out, and hopefully no stall in the next game. <laughs>